Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Breaking news. Blackouts are now imminent as the nation's fuel reserves plunge to historic lows. The Philippines is facing an energy crisis unlike anything seen in decades and the warning signs are everywhere. Manila is on red alert as the energy crisis deepens, casting a shadow over the city's vibrant life. The threat of widespread blackouts looms large and the uncertainty grows with every passing hour. These are the headlines haunting the Philippines today, July 4, 2025. Every major news outlet is sounding the alarm, and the sense of urgency is impossible to ignore. This isn't just news, it's a national emergency that touches every Filipino, from government leaders to ordinary families. Across the archipelago, from the bustling streets of Manila to the remote islands of Palawan, a sense of dread is palpable. People everywhere are bracing for the worst, unsure of what tomorrow will bring. The lights flicker, the power grid strains under the pressure, and every day feels like a countdown to catastrophe. The nation's infrastructure is being pushed to its limits. Hospitals rely on backup generators to keep life-saving equipment running. Factories grind to a halt, threatening jobs and livelihoods. Students are forced to study by candlelight, their futures uncertain. The energy crisis is a clear and present danger, not just a topic for boardroom debate. It's a reality that's disrupting daily life for millions, from business owners to families at home. Years of rising global fuel prices, geopolitical instability, and dwindling domestic resources have all led to this critical moment. The Philippines, heavily dependent on imported fuel, is now feeling the full impact of these global forces. The government scrambles for solutions, holding emergency meetings and consulting experts, knowing that failure isn't an option. Every decision made now could determine the nation's fate. Reliable, affordable energy is the foundation of modern society. Without it, businesses can't operate, transportation grinds to a halt, and families are left in the dark. Everything is at risk. Emergency meetings run around the clock in the capital. Officials work late into the night, racing against time to find a way out of the crisis. Energy experts model worst-case scenarios, warning that the situation could deteriorate further. Public service announcements urge everyone to conserve every kilowatt, hoping to buy precious time. But conservation alone won't solve the problem. Families are already rationing power, businesses are cutting hours and demand for generators is soaring. The Philippines needs a bold, decisive move to pull back from the brink. Leaders must act swiftly and courageously to secure new energy sources and stabilize the grid. The nation stands at a crossroads. The next steps will shape its future for decades. Every Filipino is watching, waiting, and hoping for a solution. The country holds its breath, hoping for a breakthrough before darkness descends for good. The anxiety is real and the stakes could not be higher. The stakes have never been higher. The coming days will test the nation's resolve, unity, and ingenuity as never before. The root of this crisis is the Philippines' heavy reliance on imported fuel. Over 90% of the country's oil comes from abroad, tying its fate to global market volatility. Every conflict or production cut overseas sends shockwaves through the economy. When oil prices spike, costs rise for everyone, jeepney drivers, farmers, families, inflation spirals threatening economic stability for millions, relying on foreign energy limits national security and policy options. Disruptions in supply chains could have immediate, catastrophic effects. Breaking free from this dependence is now a matter of national survival. The search for reliable domestic energy is about reclaiming control over the country's destiny. For over two decades, the Malampaya Deepwater Gas to Power Project was the Philippines' answer to its energy woes. Discovered in 1991, Malampaya became the cornerstone of energy security, fueling three major Batangas power plants and providing up to 20% of the nation's electricity. It was a homegrown giant, reducing reliance on foreign fuel and cutting carbon emissions. Malampaya's gas kept homes lit, factories running and the economy growing. The project was a symbol of national pride and technological achievement. Billions in government revenue flowed from Malampaya, funding energy development and national priorities. For 20 years it was the country's energy shield and most important asset, but no giant lives forever. After more than 20 years of powering the nation, Malampaya's once abundant natural gas reserves are now running dangerously low. The platform, once a symbol of energy security, is showing its age, and the signs of depletion are impossible to ignore. Output from the field has steadily declined year after year, and the original service contract, crucial for continued operations, was set to expire in 2024. 
raising urgent questions about the future of the country's energy supply. Without significant new investment and the drilling of fresh wells, the existing infrastructure simply cannot produce enough gas to meet the nation's growing demand. The once busy rigs now stand idle, a stark reminder of what's at stake. Power plants across the Philippines, specifically designed to run on Malampaya's gas, now face the grim prospect of shutdowns or being forced into expensive conversions to imported fuel, an option that would drive up electricity costs for millions. The buffer that once shielded the country from volatile global energy prices is rapidly disappearing. As the threat of brownouts and blackouts looms, ordinary Filipinos are reminded of the dark days when power outages were a common occurrence. The depletion of Malampaya is no longer just an energy issue. It has escalated into a full-blown national security crisis, with the stability of the country's economy and the well-being of its people hanging in the balance. The government now faces a race against time, scrambling to find solutions and prevent a looming economic and social catastrophe that could set the nation back by years. For many, letting Malampaya fade into history simply isn't an option. Protesters, energy workers and industry leaders are calling for urgent action to save this vital resource. The challenge is clear. How can the country unlock the remaining reserves, extend the life of the field, and ensure a stable energy future for generations to come? Only bold action, innovative thinking and the adoption of new technology can secure the nation's energy future. The clock is ticking, and the decisions made today will shape the Philippines' destiny for decades. Facing the threat of an energy collapse, the Philippine government acted with rare urgency and unity. As the nation watched anxiously, top officials gathered in emergency meetings, determined to find a solution before the situation spiraled out of control. The stakes were high, millions depended on a stable power supply, and the country's economic future hung in the balance. In May 2023, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. took a bold step by renewing the Malampaya service contract for another 15 years. The signing ceremony was more than just a formality, it was a public declaration that the government was committed to securing the nation's energy future. This decisive move sent a powerful message, the Philippines was determined to revive its most important gas field and reduce its dependence on imported fuel. By focusing on Malampaya, the government aimed to ensure energy independence and protect Filipino families from future shortages and price shocks. Soon after Congress passed a groundbreaking law that prioritized the use of indigenous natural gas in the national power grid, this legislation guaranteed a stable market for Malampaya's output, making it clear that local resources would power the country's future. With these new policies in place, investors finally had the certainty they needed to commit billions to new development. The risk of sudden regulatory changes or market instability was greatly reduced, opening the door for massive investments in energy infrastructure. The Prime Energy-led consortium, now at the helm of Malampaya, was required to drill at least two new deep water wells by 2026. This ambitious target was designed to boost production and extend the life of the gas field, ensuring a steady supply for years to come. The government made it clear, immediate action was non-negotiable. Delays that had plagued the sector in the past would no longer be tolerated. The message was simple, deliver results or face consequences. As legal certainty and new incentives took effect, optimism returned to the industry. Capital and expertise began to flow back into the country, and partnerships between government, investors and engineers flourished. The Philippines was now betting on its remaining gas reserves to pull back from the brink of an energy crisis. Every new well drilled represented hope for a brighter, more secure future. For a country that had faced rolling blackouts and soaring electricity prices, these bold steps marked the critical first phase of recovery. The sense of relief was palpable but everyone knew the journey was just beginning. With the runway cleared for Malampaya's next chapter, the nation watched with renewed hope, eager to see if this gamble would finally secure the energy future they desperately needed. With the legal framework in place, the technical challenge began. Prime Energy, backed by new investment, brought in cutting-edge technology and global expertise. The noble Tom Prosser, a state-of-the-art drilling rig, arrived to tackle the complex geology. Advanced sensors, automated systems and safety features marked a leap from past technology. International experts joined forces with local teams using 3D seismic surveys and precision drilling. The goal, safely and efficiently extract the remaining gas. This infusion of technology and talent transformed Malampaya from a high-risk venture to a focused development program. 
the cavalry had arrived, ready to revitalize the nation's most important energy asset. Malampaya Phase 4 is a targeted, data-driven operation. At least three new wells will be drilled, Camago 8, Malampaya East 1, and Bagong Pagasa 1. Camago 8 aims to tap remaining gas in the main field. Malampaya East 1 targets a promising untapped structure nearby, Bagong Pagasa 1, or New Hope, explores a separate prospect with huge potential. A discovery here could secure the nation's energy for another generation. Each well will reach depths of 3,000-4,000 meters. The campaign is a race against time to restore power plant output and stabilize the grid. The nation watches, hoping for a breakthrough. This is the Philippines' battle plan for energy independence. Reviving Malampaya is more than an energy project, it's an economic lifeline. The drilling campaign creates thousands of jobs, from engineers to support staff, boosting local economies. Filipino workers and suppliers are prioritized, ensuring investment flows into the country. Local companies provide services, building skills and capacity for the future. The government secures billions in revenue, funding public services and infrastructure. Stable domestic gas supply helps control electricity prices and inflation. Energy stability encourages investment and protects families' purchasing power. Malampaya Phase 4 is a direct investment in the nation's resilience and growth. Energy security is vital, but so is environmental protection. Malampaya Phase 4 operates under strict environmental regulations and safety protocols. Comprehensive impact assessments and public consultations ensure local concerns are addressed. The project uses advanced safety systems and has a detailed oil spill response plan. By prioritizing natural gas, the cleanest fossil fuel, the project helps reduce reliance on coal and lowers emissions. The goal meet energy needs without harming marine ecosystems. Responsible stewardship is central to every decision. The project aims to prove energy development and environmental protection can coexist. The benefits of energy security must not come at the cost of future generations. The Philippines is determined to balance progress with preservation.